As the saying goes, customers are always right. But are Grubhub customers always right? As a Grubhub driver, it's really important that you maximize your time and earnings. I'm going to give you seven tips that will help you to make more money per block, but also help you to deliver awesome customer service. Hi, I'm Shane of The Wealth Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I started doing Grubhub in April 2018, and by using the seven tips that I'm going to give you in this video, I've been able to do one to two more orders per block and ensure that I make at least $20 per hour. And this was really important for me because I had $108,000 of debt, and by doing Grubhub, I was able to knock off almost 50% of that debt. So if you're ready for those seven tips that will ensure that you get more blocks done and make more money by delivering great customer service, go ahead and give this video a like and we're gonna get straight into the tips. Sometimes as a Grubhub driver, you'll get an order that I consider to be late. And so that means that Grubhub will send you an order and the delivery time for that order has already passed the current time. So I tend to not like to deliver those orders. I tend to just reject those orders because customers tend to be very upset if their orders are late. And you don't want to take on that aggression and that upset that the customer is having, especially when it had nothing to do with you. Grubhub sent you that order late. It may have been an issue with the restaurant or it may have been an issue with a previous Grubhub driver, but don't take on unnecessary stress for yourself. However, it's up to you if you decide to do late orders. If you do decide to do a late order, my suggestion is that you call the customer and explain to them the situation that you just got this order and that you're trying to do everything that they and that you can to ensure that they get their order as soon as possible. And I would also try to call Grubhub as well to see if they can update the ETA, the estimated time of arrival, for that delivery. That way, you don't get any unnecessary aggression sent your way. It's inevitable that issues will occur with your customer's orders. And many of the times those issues happen at the restaurant level. And restaurants do not have contact information for the customers. So they do not get in contact with the customers to update them about any issues that may be happening. For example, with ingredients that they might have run out with or any delays that they might be experiencing with fulfilling orders. So as soon as you find out about a customer issue, you should contact the customer to give them a heads up. So you can contact your customers via text message or via phone and just let them know what the issue is. And this helps you out a lot because many of the times the customers are blaming you for whatever issues may be occurring because you have to think about it from their perspective. They're often in the dark and they're kind of wondering what's going on with my order? Where is my order? Why can I get any updates? And this especially happens when they can't get in contact with Grubhub's customer service. So whatever you can do to be proactive about the situation will help you out a lot, especially if that customer was planning to give you a cash tip. They will greatly appreciate any updates that you can give them. And if they weren't planning to give you a cash tip, that might help to sway them to decide, you know what, this person has been uh, delivering awesome customer service. I should go ahead and give them a tip and hopefully it's on top of the tip that they are already giving you in the app. So contact your customers and let them know of any issues that may be occurring with their orders. Once you've picked up the customer's order and you're en route to their address, I would give the customer a call to one, verify their address and also let them know your estimated time of arrival. Usually once you put the customer's address into your GPS, you'll know exactly when you should be arriving. And this is something that customers appreciate because sometimes they aren't tracking where you are in the app and so they might be a little surprised especially if you're a little early to know that you've arrived so by giving them a heads up that you know puts everybody on the same page and lets them know that they should be expecting you soon and it also helps you out a bit too to allow you to do more orders because you aren't going to have to wait for customers who might need to come downstairs or let you in 
or things like that. That way you can avoid any issues with getting in contact or actually meeting up with the customer ahead of time just by giving them a call a few minutes before your arrival. That will eliminate a lot of wasted time and allow you to get onto your next order a lot sooner. Concierge is your friend. Let's say you've tried to get in contact with a customer and you haven't been able to reach them. You've arrived and they actually live in an apartment building. You can simply ask the concierge to contact the customer on your behalf. Many times they have another number for the customer or they have someone else so that they can reach at that address. And sometimes if you're unable to reach the customer, you and the concierge, you can simply ask the concierge if you can leave the food with them. This not only saves you a little bit of time, but I think customers appreciate it if you at least leave the food with the concierge rather than marking their delivery as delivered and taking their food. So always utilize the concierge if you can because it will improve the customer experience and make them feel a lot more comfortable doing deliveries with Grubhub because they know that the delivery drivers will look to the concierge to make sure that they receive their deliveries. Missing customers can be a little frustrating to deal with. You probably tried to contact the customer while you were on your way to their delivery location. And then once you've arrived, you try calling them a few more times to no avail. So the cool thing is that Grubhub has now instituted a feature in the app that will eliminate a lot of the frustration that we used to have with missing customers. So once you realize that you have not been able to contact a customer upon your arrival at their address, you can actually hit a button in the app that will not only notify them that your delivery has arrived, but it will also start a timer. And so once that timer expires, then you can confidently move on to the next order. And the cool thing is that you will actually still get paid for that order, even though the customer did not accept the delivery. And so that means that you will get free food. So hit the like button if you like getting free food. So not only will you get paid, you will also get free food that you can take home and indulge in for yourself. But you can also choose to do something that I like to do as well, is try to find someone who is homeless or in need of a meal and give the food to them. Because when you think about it, you've already gotten paid. And if the customer would have accepted that delivery, you wouldn't have had that food anyway. So why not share the good luck with other people as well and share a meal that you didn't have to pay for and you already got paid for yourself. I love when I deliver orders to places like this that have ample parking. However, that is not always the case. Sometimes you might be struggling to find parking that's free or even just available, right? And so some of the things that I do to avoid incurring issues with parking are, one, I try to park in parking garages. Parking garages are really good because they tend to either have a grace period where people who park in the garage don't have to pay or they will validate your parking. So sometimes the grace period is anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. And if the grace period is not marked for that parking garage, simply call the attendant at the parking garage's booth or whatever it may be and call them and ask them and they'll let you know before you draw a ticket to let you know what the grace period is. If that doesn't work, simply just call the customer and ask them what the grace period is because oftentimes they do know what the grace period is. Or they'll let you know that, hey, you can actually get your parking validated by bringing in your ticket to the concierge and they'll validate your parking for free. So that way you can not only park in a safe area that's close to the customer's delivery address, but also not have to pay for parking. Now, sometimes what I would do is just call the customer ahead of time to let them know, hey, I've been looking for parking. I haven't been able to find parking and I want to make sure that I get your food to you as soon as possible and I also don't want to have to spend money. Many times they will understand and they will meet you downstairs. This will save you not only money but also a lot of time by just calling them and explaining the situation and many times they understand and they'll meet you 
in the middle. So those are the things that I do to eliminate issues when it comes to parking because you don't want to have to pay for parking or worse, end up parking somewhere that will get you towed, get you a ticket or even booted because can you imagine having to spend a hundred dollars or more dealing with issues related to your car getting ticketed told or booted and you were just trying to deliver an order that paid out $15 that is hustling backwards and you definitely don't want to do that let's be real sometimes you'll end up delivering to some very sketchy places like this place and I would say that you don't want to risk it sometimes you even arrive at a mansion and everything looks like it might be good but then only to realize that they don't have on their lights on at night and you can't see where you're walking and it becomes very dangerous to you especially in inclement weather so whatever it looks like a dangerous situation maybe because the place looks a little run down the neighborhood is not safe or even your walking conditions are not good I would say do not risk it. Do not risk your safety and your well-being to deliver orders for a couple of dollars because it's going to end up costing you a lot more money and maybe even your life in some situations if you tend to go or if you decide to go into those risky situations. So what I would do is just call the customer and let them know, hey, I can't see the lights are on. Can you please turn the lights? Or if you can't do that, can you just meet me and pick up the order at my car that is a lot safer for you and it will save you time as well and also save you your save your livelihood so that way you can go on to deliver more orders in the future now that you've learned all those great tips on how to deal with customers and to provide great customer service you'll want to check out this video right here because it'll help you to maximize your earnings as a Grubhub driver so that you can make the most amount of money possible to reach your financial goals so I appreciate you for watching but go ahead and check out that video right now so you can get to the money.